you find another situation, this car belongs to the fire of the Holy Ghost. Then sometimes I just look like, okay, the, fire, the car that belongs to the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now, the same car is, uh, is going at 100 miles an hour. Why is it supposed to go 50 miles an hour? If I abide in the Lord. And I'm going to go to the tra that trade this morning again. There are things that will not happen until when we follow the precepts of the Lord. Nothing will happen. There are two precepts. It's either you follow him or you follow another way. And no matter what you put on your house, if you put 1,000 the best stickers on your house and you are doing the work of the evil in that house, definitely the devil will visit that house. So affirmation, just talking about it, does not just bring the glory of the Lord. Let's establish that first. So this morning, I want to talk about the gateway to peace. I was discussing someone yesterday for two hours, and he's from another country with his group. No, and the group was not there yesterday. And, I, and he was saying, like, this thing is just like a revelation to me. I said, God is taking us away from theology, and he's taking us to the, to the spirit of life. I'm not speaking theology. Hello? I'm not doing what? I'm talking the what? The art of God. Because when you come to the New Testament, Paul gives us definition of what is happening in the Old Testament. He gives us understanding, something we don't understand. That, and that's why Jesus said, I did not come to do what? To abolish the law, but to do what? To fulfill it. What he was saying is, though the law is there, but I want to give you the principle to understand it. Are you getting me now? So when someone says to you now, but the plan of God is not for you to be worried. But we do worry because we don't know the gateway to the peace of God. And suddenly, if you come to me now, I should not worry. I can tell you, yes, I can jump in the church now, don't worry. But by the time I go out of that door, something is triggering in my brain to make me worried. Are you following me? Now, if somebody is going to advise me, don't advise me when you yourself, you don't know something about worry. Uh, eh? Eh? If you believe my daughter now comes to me and say, Pastor, don't worry. All I will do is I will say, wow, thank you. <laughs> but inside my brain, I was thinking, what does she know about raising up kids? Isn't it? Because your reality does not match my reality. Do not worry. When you wake up in the morning, there's no food to eat in the afternoon. You, you are telling me, do not worry. But it is okay when you are alone. Huh? You can manage things. You can say, praise God. You can come to the church. Yes, I glory be to God. God is good. You can shout. Mm -hmm. But when someone now comes into your life, and you are responsible, the worriness sets in. My younger brother will call me and say, brother, Nigeria, it's tough. And I said, tell me, when is no ever tough, tough? I said, but ah, everything has changed. Even not, I said, okay, I will tell you a story. When you were young, when our mom died and I took you away, and I took my sister away, do you know anything about poverty? When you wake up in the morning, the only thing you ask me, brother, what am I going to eat? But you don't know where I get food. And he says, wow. I said, the reason why you know that the word is hard now is because you, are, you get responsibility. There are people who can advise you not to worry, but they got PhD in anxiety. And he mentioned three things that I'm going to, to, I'm going to expose now that will lead you into peace, if you want to have peace in your life, continually. The first thing he said is what? He said, let everyone see that what? You are considerate in what? In all you do. Eh? What is meaning of to be considerate? And if you go to verse 8, he gives the clue. He said, be thoughtful. To be considerate is to have a careful thought. If you follow that scripture, what you do? What? Oh, what you need. And God pray to God to, to give you what? What? What you need is not what you want. Yeah, it's not what you want. What you, what you want. Do you know most of the things that cause trouble in our mind today is what we want? 
careful thought. Okay, I'm asking God. I'm asking God for something. Have you ever sit down and have a careful thought for what you are asking God for? This is why when we go to prayer meeting, everybody you have in general prayer meeting, isn't it? God, oh Lord, I pray. Pray the end, the, before the end of this year, the Lord, oh God, that give Joshua, that open the, uh, the door for the, in, in the Red Sea, the Lord, oh God, will give you Jaguar. Amen, amen, amen. How can God give to, to me Jaguar when he doesn't have resources to maintain Jaguar? Uh, oh, you, you, you think I don't have faith? You are looking at me like that. Yeah. You, you don't, then, then there's a blanket faith now because it's not a blanket faith. He, this is what he said. He said, consider it. The consider what? What you are asking for. You have to have a careful thought. When I want to pray to God, I need to do what? I have a careful thought of what I, what I need, not what I want. But what happened is, this is where jealousy and envy comes from. Because now, many people are troubled because I want what they want. And God says, well, you are not get what you want because this is not what you need. Many years ago, I am like that. And what worried me so much is not because of what God has not given me. It's not what God has not, what, what I've not received. Because when I see someone giving testimony, I say, eh, hey, hey, what happens to me? Am I not praying? Am I not praying enough? Just because someone buy five bedrooms house, does that mean that you need five bedroom house? Do you know the reason why many people are suffering today is because what they are, they are going to say, I want this. I just want that. Paul was saying, you know what? It's not what you want. It's what you, what you need that will bring peace into your mind. Don't let anyone push you. Thank you so very much for watching Liberty Family Church on YouTube. For more messages, uh, chats, and other Christian content, please subscribe and like our channel. God bless you.